serotonin, norepinephrine, neurotransmitters, endorphins. Hi, this is Dr. Neil Schwartz. We've all heard these terms before and the conversation usually leads up to a first prescription of a synthetic mood medication. When I look up chemical imbalances in mood on the internet, I quickly found this from ZocDoc. Yes, chemical imbalances have been found to have an association with mental health issues. Scientists have hypothesized that neurotransmitter imbalances within the brain can cause psychiatric conditions and therefore medications can be used to target these imbalances and help improve disease states. This is the ideology that has been prevalent in our culture for many decades. Let's now review why the question and the entire conversation is completely flawed. The chemical imbalance that we are speaking of is the depression and is the anxiety. When depressed, you are chemically depressed. In other words, depression and chemical imbalance are synonyms. The same is true for the sensation of anxiety, feelings of rage, irritability, and mania. Since we are using two phrases to describe the same phenomenon, Today's inquiry about chemical imbalance tells us nothing of cause, effect, or solution for the imbalance. Which leads us to the psychological misconception of the century that has effectively sold billions of dollars worth of antidepressant medications. Here's the misconceived logic. Premise number one. My doctor said I have a chemical imbalance. Premise number two. Prescription medications specifically target these chemicals that are out of balance. Therefore, I must need a synthetic medication to fix my specific chemical imbalance. Furthermore, it's safe to assume there is no other tangible way to fix my mood except for with these pills. That's good deductive reasoning, no? It's been good enough to sell Prozac, Zoloft, Effexor, Lithium, etc. for the last 30 years. Let's type in how much money spent in 2016 on psych meds? Here it says, Americans spend over 200 billion treating mental health. Let's click that one. And this is from the Mighty. This is a very large mental health website. Um, check this out. Between prescription medications, therapy sessions, and hospital visits, the cost of having a mental health condition can add up quickly. Now, a new report published in Health Affairs shows that not only are mental health conditions expensive, they are the most expensive, costing Americans over $201 billion a year. The report looked at several different databases and found Americans are spending more on mental illnesses than heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. Clearly, this chemical imbalance logic of the 1980s is still working great to sell pills. That's for sure. Let me offer a new logical conclusion today to replace the mental health ideology of the 1980s. Premise number one. Depression, anxiety, rage, and mania are the living manifestations of a current chemical imbalance. Premise number two. There are countless ways to naturally and synthetically alter the chemicals of our blood and brain. Therefore, we can alter our chemical imbalances and mood in many, many ways. Note how this new logic does not lead up to a big sell. You know you are being sold when logical reasoning is leading or isolating to only one solution. Watch the drug commercials closely for this leading effect. They are getting more desperate and pathetic every year. Did you know resistance training of all types completely alters your body chemistry? Did you know yoga class completely alters the chemicals in your brain? Did you know a long outdoor hike completely alters your blood work? Psychiatric medication is simply one way to skin a cat. Now, I want to be clear as a practicing primary care physician. I'm not against psych meds. I've seen them help people in great ways. I'm what we call an inclusive physician, meaning I'm a fan of whatever works and I throw the kitchen sink at difficult situations. Ideally, psych meds are utilized as a turbo boost or bridge to get patients feeling good enough to then start taking care of their body, mind, spirit, and energy. That's the ultimate approach to a severe incapacitating chemical imbalance. What I'm not a fan of 
is the idea that there is only one way to do things. The term only is a small-minded notion that creates predictable hopelessness because it leaves no room for further motivation, experimentation, nor creativity. In effect, the term only is the root cause of hopelessness because if the only thing that works is not working for you, then you must be doomed. That's the powerful logic of hopelessness. It's the term only that is the extreme misconception. I hope this video helps you find the light and the truth. Talk to you soon.